Hello, welcome. This is the new Super Review on Tap TV, and my name is William Sabule. Today is the ninth day of May 2022. It's a very wet uh, Monday in here in the city of Port Harcourt, where we're reaching you live with the newspaper review. And this is where we'll be bringing you the headlines across newspapers around Nigeria. I said that to let you know if this is the first time you're seeing this video, you are in the right place to get informed with the latest news. And uh, we also have a discussion segment that will be coming right after the headlines. So if you'd like to participate, we'd love you to drop your comments and your reactions on the comment sections of this video. But to do that, you need to first subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also turning on your notification key. And uh, the notification key will help you get notified whenever we, we drop a new episode of uh, the newspaper review and other interesting programs we have here on TAF TV. Well, I'll be right back with the headlines, but that will be after this break. You stay tuned. Have you registered for your permanent voter's card? I mean, your PVC. There is a Nigeria we all seek, a place where love, peace, security, and unity can reign supreme. Waste no time. We want a country where peace and justice will be the order of the day. Unfortunately, there's a problem. One big challenge this generation has to solve our country cries for help every day. We need able and capable hands to lead and direct. These capable hands can be you. Have you gotten your PVC? Have you registered for the ongoing voting process? Don't say your vote does not count. Yes, it does. Have you gotten your PVC? Your apathy towards Nigeria's electionary process will further inhibit our collective growth and development as a nation. Your refusal to participate and engage will keep us at a standstill. So be intentional. I have my PVC. Your votes, your voice would go a long way in preventing absolute destruction of this country and the future of our children, the hope of tomorrow. The 2023 Nigerian elections are just around the corner. Go out and get heard. Don't forget, your vote, your voice. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. Welcome back from that break. Uh, let's go right into uh, the headlines for today, the ninth day of May 2022. And we'll begin with this day newspaper. And on this day newspaper, as the major headline here, we see 2023 African leaders pressure Buhari for AFDB president additional. In apparent double standard, activists Akari Dolu, PDP, Tambowal, Ezequesili, others keep mum as Adesina fails to resign um, after his proxies purchase forms for him. Action Alliance Group Fault calls for Amir Fele's sack, insists CBN governor has not breached any law. You see all of the details of that on page 5 of this day newspaper. That's where you will get the details of that story. All the headlines on this day newspaper we take from the top here. We see oil marketers raise the alarm, accuse airline operators of trying to force subsidy on of aviation fuel. Wonder why only local airlines are complaining about rising ATK price scarcity. AON halts plan to suspend flights operations. All right, so if you need to get details of all of that, you need to go to page five of this day newspaper. That's where you get details of that story. All right, we'll move on next to Vanguard newspaper. And on Vanguard newspaper here as the major headline, we see bandits kill 55 in fresh Zamfara attacks. We must not allow bandits have free reign again. Buhari speaking there, and the details of that story you'll find on page six of the Vanguard newspaper. Also on the Vanguard newspaper here, we see 2023 presidency. Aspirants intensify lobby over zoning as PDP neck meets tomorrow. Southeast APC presidential aspirants to meet this week in Gige. That story is on page 11 of the Vanguard newspaper. We also see somewhere at the top there, we see maverick politician Senator Arthur in Zeribe dies at 83. That's such a huge loss to our nation, Nigeria, because uh, Arthur in Zeribe has been a, a seasoned uh, politician and also uh, a great man in the political uh, scene, but uh, he dies at age uh, 
83. You'll find that story, the details of uh, his death on page 13 of the Vanguard newspaper. Also, I'll take this last one from uh, the same paper. We see 10 feet dead as explosion rocks illegal refinery in Abir State. And that is on page 6 uh, of the Vanguard newspaper. All right, we'll move on next to Nigerian News Direct. And on Nigerian News Direct, as the major headline here, we see aviation crisis. Operators withdraw action on proposed shutdown. Cite interest of national economy security as reasons for reversal. Increase in flight fares key to domestic airlines problems. Increase in flight fares key to domestic airlines problems. Experts speaking. Details of all of that is on page two of Nigerian News Direct. All right, all the stories here on Nigerian News Direct. We see fuel scarcity, long queues resurfaces in Abuja. Fuel scarcity, long queues resurfaces in Abuja. And also we see there Oyetola congratulates Baba Kende on Lifetime Achievement Award. And at the bottom part of the Nigerian News Direct, we see NCC rallies media stakeholders to enhance effective reporting of telecoms industry. Also, we take this one, federal government earmarks 200 billion naira for vehicle financing scheme. All right, so to get details of all of that, make sure you pick a copy of Nigerian News Direct to get details of that headlines I just read to you. Now, moving on, we go to Nigerian Tribune. And on Nigerian Tribune, let's start from the top of that paper. It says, Supreme Court has cleared civil servants to participate in politics, Falana tells federal government. Supreme Court has cleared civil servants to participate in politics, Falana tells federal government. All right, we also see uh, the major headline here on Nigerian Tribune. Presidential race, odds against Adesina. Uh, what AFDB Code of Conduct says, 23 aspirants pick APC forms as Buhari keeps chieftains guessing. Silva may join uh, race. I'm sure that race is the presidential race and uh, uh, Silva is uh, the former governor of Bayasa State and also the present uh, um, Minister for State uh, uh, Petroleum. All right, uh, moving on, we see other headlines here on the Nigerian Tribune. Airlines suspend plan shutdown of operations. That's the reason page six of uh, the Nigerian Tribune. He said, I will fix Nigeria, Saraki says we can't vote just any Nigerian as president. Details of that is on uh, page 23. We also see the story of uh, the sad story of the loss of uh, uh, Senator Arthur in Zeribe, who died at the age of 83. Asu may roll over strike. Find details of that on page 26 of uh, the Nigerian Tribune. All right, we'll move next to the Punch newspaper and on the Punch newspaper here, a mafia lay heads for court as anger spreads over presidential ambition, hires Ozekome to seek constitutional interpretation amid rising criticism. APC chair confirmed CBN governor's membership, says he registered in February 2021. A mafia uh, action could compromise banks' integrity. Ex-director Sands speaking there. And uh, details of all of that on page two of the Punch newspaper. All right, moving on, we see bandits mustn't have upper hand in Northwest again, says Buhari. That story is on page 46 of the Punch newspaper. So do well to get details of that. We also see there at the top part of the Punch newspaper, we see ASU, federal government disagree over planned meeting. The details of that story is on page uh, nine of the Punch newspaper. We also see picture at the front page here of uh, long queues of um, vehicles at filling stations in Abuja. And the headline under that says, fuel queues resurfaces in Abuja neighboring states. Uh, fuel uh, queues resurfaces in Abuja neighboring states. And that story is on page 29 of the Punch newspaper. All right, that's uh, the papers I'll be taking today. Uh, but next on the show, it's our discussion segment. And that will be right after the short break. You stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back from that break. Now I've been joined by Mr. Victor Sioku, my regular commentator here on the New Super Review. You're welcome once more. Thank you, sir. All right. Glad, I'm glad having you back on the show. Thank you. All right. Let's begin our conversations uh, with 
one of the very striking headlines today on our papers, and it's from Nigerian News Direct. It's about the aviation crisis. It says aviation crisis. Operators withdraw action on proposed uh, shutdown. Uh, they say the site interest of national economy security has reasons for reversal. Um, what do you think is happening with the aviation industry and the federal government in trying to resolve this scarcity of aviation fuel? I think that's like the major reasons why they are trying to shut down. What's your well, take? Okay, when the information came over the week, at, an, at the tail end of the week, of yeah. last week, yeah. so I had, I had this... Um, Will I say um, assurance in me that this strike will not hold? Yeah, yeah. Because I thought same too. Okay, because yeah. it affects the bourgeoisie mm -hmm. and the, 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 the political warlords yeah. in this country. And, and at this time, they need it the most. You know, yes. they are all moving around, conversing for votes and all of that. Exactly. So they won't let it happen. They yeah. won't let it happen. Mm. So over the weekend, even the um, House of Rep members, the senators, mm. they were all bombarding this airline companies mm. and their association in fact it got to even to the extent that the the mini sorry i have to use the word the mini association mm. like uh the the mini regulatory bodies they yeah. came up to also say that they'll be embarking on a strike yeah. and uh, it was just like what is happening with us yeah the big body is on strike the other johesu yeah the, trying to join the it. senior uh, staff all of them are under that under the strike mm. okay so when we got the information late last night that they are calling off the strike, I was not so shocked. Mm. Okay, now, they are saying that because they had to call off the strike mm. because of uh, national interest, the economy, it will, it will deepen the crisis we are having with our economy yeah. and the insecurity. It now goes down to say, okay, they also mentioned that it will, the very major point that they made that it will... Uh, cause more traffic mm. on our roads mm. and it will it will uh, cause more um what would they use it will cause more um, tension on our road i mean we are coming from the aspect of uh, the mechanical uh, aspect of the road um, mm. the civil part of the road that yeah. it will, for them for everybody to be applying on the road cause the more wear and tear yeah, yeah the roads will go bad mm. and i'll be like what do these people mean <laughs> in the country that yeah. our we have more trucks mm. on the road than many times than vehicles, mm. and we we've not even we've not even uh, put in so much energy to say okay we are moving these uh, our goods on the on the roads, mm. moving them to the rail system, yeah. which is supposed to be the right thing to do. Mm. So I don't I'm, I'm I got so realized I got disappointed when they mentioned that part because mm. we already know it's 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 there for the general public to know that. Heavy goods are not supposed to be plying on that road mm -hmm. where you have rail, rail system. When we, we are blessed in this country, if you talk about land, to, to, there are some countries that they don't even have the network to, 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 to pass build, their rail system. Rail they don't system. even have the water resources that we have. Mm -hmm. Every part of the country, by the edges, you have the Atlantic Ram. Yeah. Internally, we have confluence, we have rivers that you can pass goods and services through. Mm. Oh. Yeah, well. So mm. they were complaining that aviation fuel has gone so high, which is even, mind you, around March, they wanted to go on this track around March, mm. and the government came in and said, okay, they will reduce the, the they will more like subsidize mm. a soft subsidy yeah. for them for 500 naira per liter. Mm. But by just last week, it rose from 500, 550, 600. To 700, yeah, and they had to say no. That only jet fuel, mm. in fact, oh god, I'm coming. That only jet fuel takes like 95% of their revenue, even though the affairs have they've taken it. In fact, I think this, this, the cheapest fare now is about 45,000. Yeah, and you don't find that that's you, uh, you know, it's very hard to get. Oh, my brother, there's a lot to talk about this airline thing yeah. now, mind you. Mind you, mm. I think they still have their own issues. Mm. The airlines themselves. Yeah. Yes, they are running on many many businesses in Nigeria now are running on debt. There's a low, a whole lot of burden on businesses. Now, but I have an issue with this same airline airline industry. Why would somebody book a flight? Mm. A flight that is supposed to leave by 6 p.m. Mm. You find out that many a times 
Some even they cancel yeah. they, they, and they don't have any remorse. Yes, it's true. It has been the tradition for many Sometimes, years. Sometimes, yeah. nowadays, if you are booking a flight, you just have it in mind that they will delay. Yeah. You cannot have a business uh, and uh, to meet up in Abuja or Lagos and then book a flight the same day. No. You probably end up in Abuja or Lagos in, at night. Yes. And, and you know, you so lose you, everything. You don't have a meeting now. Let's say, for instance, you have a meeting today mm -hmm. and you want to go to to Lagos, let's say from Portugal to Lagos today. No, uh, yeah. you go again the, the, you the, go the, the day, day before. before. Yeah. So Nigerians are already trying to adopt to that very weird yes. style of life. Yes. But it's and not no really, apology. no, it has never been fair on travelers, uh, you know, air travelers, that is. It has never been fair. You know, that style that, you know, people go to the airport and stay for hours waiting for their flight with no you know, proper information or as to why their flight has been delayed and all of that. So there are lots of many issues that the aviation system needs to fix. But uh, that, that's uh, notwithstanding the fact that, you know, this fuel matter is also as important as these other ones. Maybe even more important because without the uh, proper, um, um, you know, adequate fuel supply in the system, we will not have our airlines flying. Now you, you ask, know. this so-called jet fuel. Mm. Mind you, it is kerosene. Just a little touch of mm. a little um, um, an upgrade of kerosene. Yeah. And we have, in fact, if a quarter of our refineries can be running mm. just to produce the or your jet fuel and give to these airlines, mm. it will really reduce the cost of operation. Mm. And mind you, I, I was so I was so hot when I got the information that an airline company like Aero Contractor mm. will soon down tools. Mm. They just have only two aircraft because business has been so bad. Mm. Business has been so bad for those guys. And mind you, Aero, when you hear those kind of, because Aero Contractors, if you check very well, Aero Contractors, they were this airline that gave many persons that uh, the privilege to use an aircraft back yeah. in the days. Yes. They were the ones that they went they as low as 6,000, 7,000, yes. if you can remember. Yes. That yes. made many, Very I'm, I'm one of the witnesses here. Yeah. Because when we got that information, they said, wow, this is an opportunity to, to fly. To fly. Yeah. And we experienced that through them. And it's, it's, it's quite terrible now that that company is going down. Mm. Because they just have two airlines. Mm. And those two airlines, my brother, they service it a lot. So <laughs> when I got to it, I was like, man, that means even it's not even safe, not to, even fly safe to fly mm. to fly to fly them anymore. Okay, well, but let's not overflow the matter. But I want to believe that the federal government uh, responsible enough to stand up to do something about this because. In fact, the truth be told, it would have been nice that the airliners down to for a day or two. Let us all feel the pain. I mean, look at the report we got about fuel uh, um, queues resurfacing in Abuja. That's how it starts. From there, it starts to you know, flow into other states. That has already happened to neighboring states around Abuja. And then before you know, it's in Lagos, and then it's down here in Port Harcourt. Before you know, other states are, you know, and then we have a general fuel scarcity again. We don't know what's happening, but federal government needs to be up and doing about their responsibilities. Uh, now it's in Abuja, nobody's, you know, we're not hearing a lot of noise about it. But by the time it flows to, to Lagos and Port Harcourt, the whole world will be hearing about this cries. But we hope that they really do what they need to do. All right, moving on, let's discuss a bit about politics and uh, let's uh, take on <laughs> the CBN governor. All right, CBN governor has also declared uh, his ambition, his intention to run for the seat of power. And uh, a lot of people are beginning to come at him. And uh, the reports this morning on Poison Newspaper says that Mayfield heads for court as anger spreads over presidential ambition. Uh, uh, why is it so hard for office holders to resign their positions before? I mean, the law is clear about this. My brother, it's unfortunate. Mm. For me, yeah, this is a, a TV channel, but it's unfortunate. I need to say this. I'm so ashamed mm. of Mr. Amy Fennel. Mm. I saw him as a man of integrity, a mm. man that has read, mm. a, a, a professional. Mm. For him to have come this low, mm. it's, 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 so, it's so bizarre of him. Mm. Mm. In, a, in an economy that he failed, mm. he failed. Look at, oh, yesterday, just yesterday, I went to buy sausage to eat. Mm. My brother, do you know that sausage 
now is just flaw. You do not have that meat ingredient any yeah. longer. Yeah. What do this company, what do companies do now? So that just let them be in business. Mm. They remove every removables just so that they will be in business. Yeah. <laughs> Things mm. have gone so bad. That's true. You can't, you can't, okay, look at what we're talking about aviation. People are owing this mm. country. Yeah. Businesses are owing big. Running a business now is, is it's, it's, mm. it's in the hands of God in Nigeria. Yeah, it's a teaser. So, now, beforehand, a month ago, we saw vehicles of a main for president. Yeah, packed in certain in the uh, in the location, yeah. He never came out. What these people do, they go and form proxy associations, groups. Yes. That will say, eh, please come out, come out, we, come out, we yeah. want you to come out. My brother, these people, they don't have morals anymore. They don't. Our leaders, our elders, our fathers. Mm. How will their children be seeing them? They will not be telling them, eh, it's politics. You need to play, politics is a game. Yeah. You need to play the game. What game? <laughs> what game? Mm -hmm. Now, Okay, we even got the information on that he in 2021, since February 2021, yeah, the Syrian yeah. government has already joined the, to start yeah, a political the party. Ruling, the ruling party, yes. <laughs> in a cast out mm. that he has registered. He went to meet his uh, world chairman. Okay, mm. no, there was an interview, a, a phone call interview with the world chairman, uh, what sees in a cast out. And he was like, eh, that he is a card carrying member since February 2021. Mm. Meaning that this man has been nursing political dream he's been a politician all this while mm. and now come to think of it okay he has even uh, engaged a lawyer um, uh, um, uh, yeah, Michael, yeah, they come, yes. to go and uh, interpret the constitution with respect to him uh, for, for the office uh, yeah. for office of the president and I see so aside the commission so he does not even have that moral grounds to say guy this thing I'm doing it's mm. not supposed to be so. Yeah. In foreign crime, crimes, this you can't do this. Yes. Nigeria has turned to an animal of fire. Exactly. If I'm not just I think, I think mm. oh, yeah. A lot a lot has gone so a bad lot, in this a past, lot has past gone. Uh, um, uh, um, um, Regime. I'm sorry um, to say No, that, but, but it's the truth. It's, 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 we are it's, it's, all feeling it. Even the high and mighty, they are all feeling the pain. And this is, it, it's uh, quite a shame, like you put it. It's quite a shame. Not just regarding uh, Mephilis, you know, declaration. There are a lot more revelations that we've had to see within the last uh, one year or so. And it's, it's very, very disturbing. And we know we're going to see more mm -hmm. leading on to, you know, and as shameless as Rice Farmers Association. <laughs> Rice Farmers Association that they are owing. Mm. Rice Farmers Association that the cost of a for foreign rice is cheaper than yeah. the local rice. Mm. My brother, they are coming out to say eh, that they are supporting the Mifele. My brother, what kind of, well, what fact, kind of, what it, kind of unruly behavior? In fact, thinking about it, if you look at Amir Feliz's regime as a CBN governor, I mean, what exactly has he achieved as a CBN My governor? Brother, look at the spike of uh, for, for our, our economy has, has nosedived under his watch. So what exactly is he going to offer Nigerians as a president? I mean, if you cannot succeed, because I believe that CBN gov uh, the, the CBN office has some level of independence in terms of control from the federal government. We've seen other CBN governors perform excellently well. I mean, they have done, even though they, they, they didn't get it 100%, but we could feel some of the policies that mm. they put out and how it affected our economy and down to the lives of Nigerians, as it were, we could feel it. But in this MFLA's run, I mean, there's nothing to write home about. Every day, look at our, our FX, like you said, we, every day it's a back and forth thing. Today, a dollar is almost 600 naira. First time in history. And it's under his word. So what exactly is he going to give us as a president? But, well, now, Look at the difference now. Reason why he's not supposed to be there. Mm. The influences mm. that will happen. The political influences. Look at someone like he's more like a servant to politicians right now because he will be um, negotiating grounds. Yes. Okay. Mm. And by so doing, let's say for and he's, he's all going his, to compromise. Most of these yeah. big politicians are owing. They are owing. Most of them are owing. Okay. Look at for instance now. He's a servant to APC. Mm. You have a uh, um, the. The, the leader of the party. Yeah. You have uh, Omishore as the secretary. Now, 
you know that these guys are above you mm. politically now. They are the ones that will that you will go under to beg for mm. food or beg for support. Yeah. Now they might now come and say, okay, bros, this is my loan. This, how, yeah. do we, how do we take care of it? My brother, it's so there will, will be a lot of yeah, there will be a so lot of compromises. Should, yeah. Please, just like the masses are saying, just the the barest minimum, just mm. resign mm. at least. How can you still be on that on 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 on, on the same on the same seat as a CBN governor and you're vying for a president for the rule of a? Uh, of a <laughs> it's a pathetic one, but that's the situation we found ourselves. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Victor, for the analysis and the uh, talks. Thank you so much, and to our viewers, want to thank you. You can also join the conversation. Don't forget, you can drop your comments and your reactions on the comment section. Let's also hear what you think about. Uh, these topics we've discussed from the headlines this morning. All right, till next time I come your way again, my name is William Sabuli and this has been Tab TV's newspaper review. See you next time. <laughs>